Welcome to the Solid KM University channel. This video's topic is patching holes in 3D toolpaths. <clears throat> so 3D toolpaths inside SolidCAM are what we refer to as recognition toolpaths, as in they recognize what you've defined as your stock and what you've defined as your target. And the goal of those 3D toolpaths is to automatically remove the difference between those two solids. So oftentimes with a part like the one you have on the screen here, um, you have a feature that might not you might not want to have machined by that particular toolpath. Even though it's a recognition toolpath, you might be wanting to leave that for later. Let's say, for instance, on the part here, I might want to do that circle and that kind of diamond shape using a completely different toolpath. I might want to uh, avoid using that in a 3D eye machining, or in the HSM, I might not want this to occur where it is a recognition toolpath, it thinks it should go down the hole and finish those walls and those floors. So to avoid something like this, we would actually need to patch the hole. Now, it's actually very simple. Uh, all we need to do is add a surface to cap off the top of these pockets, and then that way they get included in the geometry and they're considered to be faces of the solid anyway. So there's actually no need to actually add solids or uh, add a configuration to the SOLIDWORKS model so that that hole is not there. You can leave the holes there, and you can add just a simple surface that doesn't affect anything else other than the 3D toolpath you're looking to adjust. So for instance, let's do it right now. So we'll go to the top left corner to the feature manager, which brings us back into the SOLIDWORKS aspect of this SOLIDCAM file. And I'm just gonna right click on the design model and click on edit part. And what that does is it opens up this solid model for editing. I can add things to it. And for instance here, like I said, I wanna add a cap to that surface, to that, uh, to that pocket. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna create a surface. It's a simple, quick add-on, and I'm just gonna to go to my Surface tab. If you don't have the Surfaces tab on your SOLIDWORKS ribbon, just right-click on any one of these tabs and choose it from the list. So we'll go to Surfaces, and we'll go to Filled Surface. Filled Surface, all it's looking for is a boundary to create a surface. In this case, I'll just click on that, and you can see there that preview is showing me that I'm, going to just, I'm just going to put in a quick surface that is in contact with all those edges there. I'll just click the green check mark to create that. So now I have a surface that patches up that hole. Now, it's the same color as the solid. I might find that confusing. I usually myself usually just change the color of that surface so I know that it is a patch surface. So I just right click on it. I'll go to the appearances icon, click on this arrow, and I just want to change the color of the surface itself. So that just brings up these colors here. I'll just click on this yellow, click the green check mark, and now my patch surface has a yellow color. So I know that that is a patch. I can hide that later or make sure I don't include that in certain toolpaths. The purpose of this patch is simply just to fix the HSM linear toolpath that was going down that hole. So let's open up the HSM toolpath. Normally with HSM, HSR, 3D eye machining, 3D milling, any of the recognition toolpaths, you automatically use the target as the geometry because you're trying to machine that final solid. In this case though, I want to include that patch surface. So I'm not gonna change the target in the overall definition because I still want this solid to represent the final target. But for this particular operation, I'm actually gonna click on the new geometry button, click on the final solid, because I still want that to be the target goal of this, of this toolpath, but I'm gonna include that patch surface. So you can see there it has the solid and it has the surface. And I click the green check mark, I'm just gonna recalculate this. So the geometry is now model one rather than the target. And we take a look at that toolpath, it now jumps across that hole. It basically looks at that patch surface as part of the overall face. So it's just one continuous toolpath. So that was pretty simple. I just chose the outside edge of that circle and just created that quick surface. But what about this kind of 3D compound hole here? Well, it works the exact same way. Let me just turn off that toolpath and we'll go and do the same thing, but for that complex hole. I'll still, still do a filled surface, but this time, remember, we're still just choosing contours to outline the outside of the surface. So it works exactly the same way. I'm just gonna choose these edges to outline my, my, my patch surface. So SOLIDWORKS is just gonna build that surface. Now it comes out like that because of something over here about the contact. I actually want it to be tangent. So 
So you can see that if there's something with the, the connections on the sides there, if it's not uh, creating a surface that makes sense to you, which in this case, it's trying to be tangent with all those walls, you can actually go and play with some of these values over here. I actually find the simplest way to do this is if we just clear everything, and I'm just gonna make a patch surface with some sketches. So let's go real quick, we'll do a sketch on this top plane. And because this thing is pretty much at, uh, at a square angle there, if I just make a quick sketch right there, now I have the boundary for a top surface and a bottom surface. So it's actually still the same thing. We're just kind of going in and filling up two surfaces instead. So let's do it like this. We'll go this little guy over here, this guy, this guy, and then this final one right here. Click the green check mark, and that basically makes that top surface. And I could do the same thing with the bottom surface. So oftentimes the outside edge is not as simple as the circle. I can't just choose something and automatically just patch it up. Sometimes I might actually have to design the patch a little bit. And that's kind of what I've done here. That still gives me that sharp edge of the solid and it plugs up those holes. So it does the job. And I'm just gonna modify the appearances of both of those. I'm just gonna make that the yellow. And again, for me, I've made the yellow indicate that that is a patch surface. So we'll go back to the HSM toolpath. And since we've made a new geometry, model one, I'm just gonna edit that geometry to include that, those two surfaces as well. So we'll do the same and calculate. That linear toolpath is now just gonna jump that gap. And that works, this sort of uh, technique works for any of the 3D toolpaths. For instance, the 3D eye machining let me just hide those two surfaces, or those three surfaces. So we'll go edit part. And I'm just going to hide them, or at least change the transparency on those. There it is, individually hiding them. So that 3D eye machining <clears throat> is going down those holes as well. Now, <clears throat> I intentionally did this with a rest mill eye machining just to go in those holes. But let's say, for instance, I had other plans for those holes. I wanted to do them completely different, or I just don't want to use this particular tool. It doesn't have a proper reach. 3D eye machining is also a target-based toolpath. I can also use whatever model I want. So in this case, let's say model one was the one that I already chose for the HSM. But if I really wanted to, I could choose that geometry the exact same way, choose the solid and choose all my surfaces. So if I just do a recalculate on that, instead of going down those pockets, we'll see that it actually avoids that. So in this case, there's really nothing for it to rest mill because it's not going down those holes anymore. So the idea here is you can use the surfaces to plug up those holes. It's just a simple surface. You can hide it later, like I've done here, and just continue my work. But for the purpose of the 3D toolpath, I don't want it to do a particular feature. I can just cap it off. Any questions on this or anything else from SolidCam, you can always call us at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. To send us your parts and your questions via the ticket system at solidcamsupport.com. Stay tuned for the rest of the videos on the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.